Hey, what is going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 14. As you probably know by now, Apple has confirmed its release date of the first beta of iOS 14. So in this video, I will show you guys all the details that you need to know regarding this update, everything you need to know about iOS 14 before it gets released on its first beta. Starting off with the release date. As you probably have heard by now, Apple has scheduled WWDC 2020 to start on June 22nd. Now, this is different from the past years. First of all, it will be an online event, and then usually Apple hosts WWDC events on the first week of June, and now they're holding it on June 22nd. This, of course, probably due to the whole situation that is going on in the world right now. So, as Apple usually does, they release the betas on the first day of WWDC, so you can expect the same to happen this year, even though this will be a completely online event, you can expect Apple to release iOS 14 beta, of course, alongside with macOS, iPadOS, and watchOS, and tvOS betas on June 22nd. Moving on to supported devices. Now, this is very interesting. I know a lot of people are interested whether they device will support iOS 14 or not. So earlier reports claimed that iOS 14 will be supported on the same devices as iOS 13. So here we have a full list of devices that support iOS 13, and these are expected also to support iOS 14. Now, this is, this is not unusual. This has happened before. So the same devices that supported iOS 11 also supported iOS 12. On iOS 12, Apple was focused more on stability and performance improvement and all that. So they just went with the same devices. And they're basically doing the same thing this year as well. So I expect all the devices that support iOS 13 to also support iOS 14. So the oldest one will be, of course, the iPhone 6S and the iPhone SE. Hopefully that will happen. This was a report that was released earlier this year. So expect all the devices that support iOS 13 to also support the new iOS 14. Of course, with every big update, Apple will bring new features and changes to iOS. And this year, they also are changing the whole process that they're using to build iOS 14. So prior to iOS 14, basically, the teams would just like add features to iOS that weren't even fully tested, while other teams would contribute to those changes. So that made quite a big mess. You saw with iOS 13, it wasn't even ready after like four months of betas, they had to release iOS 13.1 right away. So that is changing with iOS 14. Apple has changed the whole process and you can expect a much higher quality software to come to your devices. That's of course very welcome because last year when Apple released iOS 13 beta one, they didn't release a profile which would allow us to install it on our devices. That way they would just prevent all people from getting that software because they knew that it wasn't stable at all. So this year, hopefully with iOS 14 being way more stable from the beginning, I would hope that Apple will release the profiles right away. So we will be able to easily install iOS 14 beta one right away just by installing a profile that of course we can get from one of the devs. So last year you had to use a Mac computer and be a dev in order, basically have a dev account in order to install it. There was other ways of course without the dev account, but the easiest way was that and hopefully this year we will get the profile. Of course, you will have to subscribe and I will let you know once the profile is released. And now let's move on to the new features and changes that are coming to iOS 14. First of all, we're talking about widgets. Now, before I even start, I just want to let you know that most of these, if not all of them, are based on reports by 9to5Mac and these are based on an early build of iOS 14 that they have. These are not just like rumors or like a wish list that came out of nowhere. These are actually based on an early build 
of iOS 14. So there is a very, very high chance that most, if not all of these will make it to the final release of iOS 14. Now, first of all, we're talking about widgets and widgets on the home screen, not like widgets that you have on the left side of your screen. These are actually right here on the icons on the home screen of the iPhone. This is like a concept that I made of how they could look like. Hopefully they will look good and they will be interactive and all that. That would be really, really awesome. Now this also has been seen on an image that was shared by a user on Twitter, which basically shows what it looks like to be a picture, like a render of the iPhone 12. And it also shows the home screen where you can also notice the shapes of the widgets there. Now this will be really interesting. We will have to wait and see then what devs will be able to do with the widgets on the home screen that could open an all new chapter that will be really, really interesting. So we'll have to wait and see for that. That will be really exciting. And one of the biggest features coming to iOS since like dark mode or any like feature that I can think right now about that has been really big to iOS. Another big change coming to iOS 14 will be a list view on the home screen. Now, I know a lot of people hate this, but this is something that I just created with Photoshop of how it could look like. Probably it won't look anything like this, but the list view will actually be just like a place, a spot on the home screen where you go like to search for your apps or you see a list of apps which you can sort in different ways. This by any means won't be your default home screen. This will be just like you have on the Apple Watch where you go to the list view and you have then the grid view. This will be basically an easier way for you to find your apps and your most used apps and of course rearrange them based on like name, size or date you have installed them. Now something really interesting and that I'm very excited about about iOS 14 is the ability to choose third party apps as default apps you probably know that Apple won't allow us to do that. So you open a link anywhere on your device, it will open it on Safari. Maybe you don't use Safari, you use like Chrome or something else. Then with iOS 14, you will have the ability to do that. Like you use mail, you use Safari, you use anything else, you will be able to use third party apps instead of the Apple apps. And that will be a huge, huge change on iOS 14. With iOS 14, iMessage is also getting a few new cool features. The ability to mention someone on an iMessage. So just like you do with like social media, when you comment or something that you add someone, you can basically do the same, mention someone on an iMessage. That will be really, really cool. And of course, you will also have the ability to delete sent messages. So this will be new on iOS 14 with iMessage and also Apple is adding a typing indicator for iMessage on iOS 14. That of course is new as well. Probably we will see a bunch of other new features, but these are some of, some of the main features that you can expect to come to iMessage with iOS 14. New features are also coming to the wallpaper section and we actually have screenshots that have been shared on Twitter of what the settings of iOS 14's wallpaper will look like. Now, when you go to wallpapers, you will have like different modes that you can choose from. So for the home screen and the lock screen, so you can have a different mode on the home screen, a different one on the lock screen. So you will have here home screen appearance and you will have basically four options to choose from. And all that is done basically to make the widgets look better the widgets that will be placed on the home screen so this is how the settings will look like on the set settings of the wallpapers on ios 14 and this is the other page where you will find the different collections so apple is allowing us to have like collections of wallpapers that are coming from third party apps and you will also have different categories so you can see right here have ios 13 you will have classic stripes or maybe flowers and stuff like that the wallpapers will be separated into different like categories within the settings app there are of course other features coming to iOS 14 and one of them which looks really interesting is that the shot on iPhone campaign that Apple does that now will be integrated within the photos app. So it will be very, very easy for everyone to participate on that competition, the ability to basically upload a picture right up 
from the photos app and be able to compete there that will be really really interesting also a new fitness app is expected to come to ios 14 that's really really cool it will have there a bunch of exercises and also you can expect to see their videos that will teach you how to perform those exercises alongside with sleep mode this has also been rumored to come with ios 14 even though this is not confirmed yet so the sleep mode of course there will be another sleep mode control center toggle there which you can use of course to quickly turn it on or off and also other changes are coming to the keychain on ios 14 now this will be quite big apple is looking to improve that a lot and add extra new features and be a better competitor one to one passcode and all those apps that are really great and of course apple offers those features but they are just like not that good so expect that to be way way better with ios 14 and have way more features also on the maps app on ios 14 you will see way more details regarding apple stores so when you're searching for an apple store on a city maybe your city or anywhere and you want to know more details regarding the genius bar whether you can repair your device there or which hardware you can buy there if there's an iphone you want to buy is new iphone you can see if it if it is available there or not all the details that you need to know regarding specific apple stores will be on the maps app with ios 14. so that is it for this video guys this is my preview of ios 14. all the details alongside with all the new features and changes that are reported coming to ios 14. now ios 14 as i said will be released on its first beta in june 22nd so if you want to learn how to install it on your device make sure you subscribe to my channel also don't forget to leave a like in this video if you enjoyed it thank you guys for watching and i will see you on the next one